Welcome back, everybody. It is 6.39 a.m., October 16th, 2017. All right, we have a situation brewing uh, near Tokyo, Japan, uh, possibly near Taiwan, and also the Philippines. We have possibly three typhoons forming all at the same time. I'm going to show you the formation of them here on Ventu Sky. Here is Tuesday the 17th, so we're going to watch this this little spin here, this one, and this one. Now, keep in mind, guys, these are typhoons. Now, uh, hurricanes and typhoons have no difference whatsoever except for the area they form. Because they form in this area by Japan, Tokyo, and basically the um, uh, the Northwest Pacific Ocean, they are called typhoons. Anything in the Atlantic or the Northeast Pacific are hurricanes, and then the South Pacific and the Indian Oceans, those are called cyclones, not to be confused with tropical cyclones, okay? So that's why you have the names typhoons, hurricanes, and cyclones. It just depends on what area of the ocean they are happening. They are all the same thing. And this is possibly going to be a Category 5 typhoon, or if this were in the Atlantic Ocean, it would be a Category 5 hurricane. So same same thing, just different areas, guys. So here we go. Here's Wednesday the 18th. <clears throat> Very high wind speeds already. That's 121 right there, and this is ground speed, just so you know, 10 meters off the ground. So we're already in Category 3, Category 4 status. Here is the 19th. Here's the 20th as it passes to, well, the far, far east of Taiwan. Taiwan's not really in the mix here. Taiwan I'm using just as a landmark, but this thing's going right for Japan, right for Tokyo. And look at this, guys, this, the uh, counterclockwise spin here. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing video of these channels and these uh, coastal areas losing a lot of water because it's being pulled out on this side of the cyclone and then being thrown into Tokyo. So Tokyo looks like it's going to get flooded very badly in this storm. Here is the 22nd. And you can see here on the 22nd, guys, look at this strip line, this line that goes basically across Tokyo into one of the channels right to the south of Tokyo. And just look at the speeds here. We're looking, we got 110 there. So this has already technically made some sort of landfall. There was a 120 in there somewhere. But just look at the speed that the backside of the cyclone is pulling water out of Tokyo. So at first, on the 21st, check this out. So we're getting water pulled out of these channels here. So it's coming this way, and then it's getting thrown into Tokyo. So Tokyo's getting totally flooded right now. This entire coastline is going to be flooded like crazy. Then by the 22nd, it's uh, this side of the cyclone is now pulling water out of Tokyo. So in a way, I know this might be far-fetched, but this may help Tokyo. Besides the fact that they're going to get flooded big time with this storm if it stays on this track, um, we then have the cyclone moving like parallel to the coast, and then once again, it may be pulling water out of that area. So we just got to see what happens, but this is going to be a very big deal for Tokyo. This could be a Category 5 storm by the time it makes landfall here in Japan, guys. That's devastating. Now, if you also pay attention down by the Philippines, we have another cyclone here that at ground level has over 100 mile an hour winds. Now, let's back up to the 19th for Thursday, even before it forms. So here's the 20th, 21st. 22nd, there it is, between the 21st and the 22nd, this thing is non-existent basically, okay, and keep in mind, we're still at 10 meters off the ground, this is ground level stuff we're dealing with here, Saturday the 21st, there's nothing, and then Sunday that same time, we have an uh, entire typhoon formed and spinning uh, to the west of the Philippines, guys, that is wild, that is two of them right there, and then we have possibly a third forming up here, now if I switch this to 1500 meters, You'll see how dramatic this changes. Look at look at this thing. This is huge. And we're talking, these are winds that are very high up in the air, four or 5,000 feet, but 100 miles an hour. Here, we'll back up to the 20th and see where it is. Check that out. Look at the amount of ground this wind field covers at this altitude, guys. This is really, really wild. That's a big part of the sea there. So this is actually what's spinning off these two other uh, typhoons here. So this one has such a high uh, altitude wind influence that it's actually spinning off secondary typhoons that aren't as big, but the wind speeds are still very, very high. Let me go back to the yeah the lower altitude here, and back to the 22nd, and you can see this right here. This is hitting almost 100 mile an hour winds right to the west, or yeah, right to the west of the Philippines. So, 
Got to keep an eye on this for them, guys, and especially these coastlines. They're going to be losing a lot of water, and then all that water is going to get pushed back into areas of Tokyo and then up this coast, too. So that's very, very important to watch. I'm going to keep an eye on that, but now let's get to the U.S. All right, and here we go, guys. So we still have... we. This is actually an Invest now. This is now Invest 92L. It's a 40 and 40. So now with that, we've passed those uh, two days of that 10% we were looking at where they thought the shear winds were going to end this thing. They actually didn't. So now we're dealing with a 40% uh, cyclone formation over 48 hours or a 40% over the next five days. So they're really honing in on that 40% that number. And again, that's because those shear winds that we were dealing with have actually um, ended their their situation on this system. So now what we have to rely on is the jet stream, the very low dip in the jet stream, which I have pulled up for you guys right here. Now I want you to notice this wall here. Now this wall, um, this does happen every so often. This is actually a break off from the jet stream. Picture the jet stream being very far north up here by the border of Canada and then rolling over top of this high pressure in the Atlantic. This is our Bermuda Atlantic pressure, which is this is a good thing right now because it's keeping this storm low to the point where we can wait for this wall, this pressure wall to come in and it's going to force the storm up to the left side of this pressure ball and it's going to go over top of it and then out uh, back with the jet stream, but it may cause issues once again uh, for Ireland and uh, Northern Ireland, parts of the UK and Scotland, like they're dealing with right now with Ophelia. Uh, that is basically doing its worst as we speak, maybe the next eight hours. So I'm going to report on that a bit later. I'm just trying to get you guys uh, up to date with what's going on in the Atlantic and the Pacific. Lots going on. But anyway, this wall here is going to be the reason you see this thing hooking out to the right. And excuse my throat again, guys. I'm just still dealing with this throat thing. All those remedies are helping big time, very soothing. It's just not going away quite yet. So just bear with me. I'm very sorry. But this is our invest, and it's going to get pushed out more than likely by this wall here. So picture this wall not only moving west to east, but also this part of it that's moving through the gulf moving down. So it's going to catch the storm right around here where my mouse is, and that's why you see that bend back to the east, as you can see right here. It, it seems to want to form right around here parallel to the Bahamas, and then it's going to get pushed out back to the east by this front wall right here. So that's what we're relying on. I don't see anything changing as far as the direction of the storm. You can see the tropical wave marking right here, and that's basically where it's going to follow. It's going to come up this way. It's going to form right around here. If it does even form, we're still only at 40%. That's less than a coin flip ch uh, chance, guys, just so you know. So just because you see those orange colors and the warning colors, don't automatically think this is going to form. Uh, there's a lot going on around it that may aid it in forming, but I just don't know yet. But again, we have this wall here. Hopefully, it's going to push it out into the Atlantic, and it'll be a non-issue for the U.S. Now, we do have Pacific issues going on as well. Two of them, in fact. All right, and here is our Pacific Ocean water vapor chart. This is our Invest 91E that we were watching yesterday in the video. Uh, this would be uh, named Selma if it does form. So this is our next possible Pacific Ocean storm. And then if you notice down here, we have a second one. So we have two, actually. They're both marked on the map. This one is a 10 and 10, 10% 10 over 48 hours, 10% over 5 days. Low chances, but it's still there. Then we got this one, 50% over 48 hours and 50% over 5 days. So this one right here is our invest. This would be named Selma if it does form into a tropical storm. And then this one down here, I got to check the names. But if we get to Z, guys, there's a name called Zelda. They actually named a storm Zelda this year. Very interesting. Uh, but this is our Pacific Ocean deal. Now I'm going to show you uh, once again the water vapor chart and why I think this one right here may possibly have a shot at Southern California, at least with a rain deal. Now keep an eye on these currents, all right? So now this thing's momentum is pushing it to the north um, along the Baja here. And then it's heading, it looks to be right in the direction of Southern California. Now look what's happening to the moisture. Once it gets into this area, it's still moving north and then this is hooking into Northern California. Now. Um, on the Weather Channel, they were showing this as bringing a little bit of rain to Northern California, but it's a little bit too far north to really help affect with these fires here. I'm going to be updating on the fires, guys, I promise you. Um, I've just been super busy. I tried putting out as many videos as I could this weekend. I know I didn't live up to what I said, but 
don't worry guys I'm getting back to my normal schedule I'm getting over this sickness or whatever it is I'm dealing with and we'll get back to work no problem but anyway here is our invest it's moving clearly north maybe in a northwest direction but still if these currents stay this way guys and this thing forms into a significant a significant storm we could be dealing with maybe a tropical storm or something along those lines with Southern California maybe something bigger we do have cooler waters here so that will aid in this thing not forming into a, a crazy storm but guys, with all the action and all the spin going on here, it looks to me that if this thing moves any more north, it's going to get caught in this momentum here, and it could bring it right into California. Now, all we have to worry about, we want rain in California, don't get me wrong. We don't want flash flooding or anything like that, but we need some aid with these fires. These fires are out of control. They're very hard for humans to just put out. We need uh, some sort of natural source of water to, to happen here. Uh, but you can see it with your own eyes, guys. This thing is moving fairly north, and then it wants to hook into the coast, the west coast, as it gets farther north. So we got to keep an eye on this, especially. Uh, so we have Invest 91E, and then in the uh, Atlantic Ocean, we have Invest 92L with a 4040. So that's where we're at right now, guys. I hope this update helped somebody at least understand this a little better, especially with the typhoons and the hurricanes. They are the same exact thing, just called different things when they're in different parts of the ocean. And you know what? I'm going to make videos. Uh, I'm going to do series videos on the strongest uh, hurricanes ever, strongest typhoons, all sorts of stuff like that. And then by next season, you guys that are following me will have a very very good education on what to expect for next season on what these names are and a very be a much better understanding of what this stuff all means all right so that's it for now guys i'm going to put this video up for you hopefully it'll be up by 7:30 ish who knows but i will be on twitter and instagram throughout the day until i get back this afternoon and then we will touch base then once again so a lot going on in these oceans we got a lot going on by tokyo and the philippines the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, and right now our situation going on with Ophelia in the UK and Ireland. All right, guys, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.